What's up, everybody, and welcome to Buzzworthy TV. And I'm your girl, Lady T, and tonight we're talking love and hip-hop Hollywood. Y'all, this is going to be one of my shorter videos because this wasn't nothing but a whole bunch of fuck shit. I can't even really tell y'all what the hell happened because it was just a big old fucking shouting match. I mean, like, seriously. But anyway, y'all, let's get into it. First, we get the puppet master herself. Mona Scott Young back as the host. Look, she had to come back because she had to make sure all her hoes was in check. Monique couldn't keep them motherfuckers in line. Some more just let them hoes fight and just ran off the stage. So she had to come and keep these hoes in line. Like I said, pimping, pimping, pimping. Like I... I can't even really say nothing. Like I'm about to really go in on Mona. But I really can't say nothing because these people allow themselves to get exploited. So, you know what, Mona? Big ups to you. I'm not even going to say nothing but get yours. Fuck it. Mm. Like I said, let's get on into it. First of all, like I said, the pimp is back managing the whole house. So, Mona Scott you know, brings to everybody's attention that, you know, it was a whole lot of going on. She said that, you know, one of the things that intrigued her about, you know, the cast in L.A. is that it's a lot of intermingling. And everybody's connected. Basically, everybody's fucking each other. And you know what? She proved, she proved it right. Because young Bird made it be known that Ray J had smashed Hazel Lee. And Mona was like, Hazel, is that true? She was like, basically Hazel was like, you know, he hit it first in, you know, in Hollywood. So I'm like, damn, everybody is fucking everybody. What the fuck? It's crazy, y'all. Like, why do you... Is it for the money? Is it for the so-called fame? Like, I never understood the thirst. And I wish somebody would leave this in the comments. Why are these chicks so thirsty that they would sleep with a nigga, their friend, their brother, and allow themselves to be used like this? I don't understand. Anyway, so after they have, you know, the introduction or whatever, we go on to Tierra and... Tierra Marie, Ray J, and Princess. You know, Mona talks to them about what went on. First, of course, they talk about Ray J and Tierra and how they broke up and how, you know, he brought her clothes up into that uh, tattoo party and dumped on her shit on the floor. And, you know, also talk about the whole feminine products that was in her bag that princess had made known at that party you know the Ray J.com party well anyway they talk about basically where they are now princess and Ray J not surprisingly they back together she said they broke up for two weeks and they good now really two weeks of all that fuck and, and that's all after all that fuck shit only two weeks and he took that bitch tear to the beach or whatever. But you know what? That was probably just for the camera. They probably didn't do shit. But anyway, however the case may be, Mona asked Tierra, you know, what happened, you know, when you and Ray J reconnected after Princess and him broke up. And she said it was good, you know. They, you know, they gonna be good. They cordial. So, basically, nothing really came of them. They probably fucked, but then moved on. He back with Princess now. He ain't treat Tierra like shit. You know, he's actually being a gentleman. He apologized, saying that, you know, she wasn't delusional when she was said they were off and on for eight years and that they really had, you know, a connection and a, you know, and a real relationship. So, on that aspect, it was cool. But Princess and Tierra, they get to yelling back and forth about... I don't know, cause I really, and I really can't tell y'all because I feel like their 
argument, whatever it was, was stupid because, okay, princess, you steady keep going in on Tierra, but it's like, why though? She didn't mess with you. You know, she was after Ray J. She missed Ray J. And next thing she know, you threw, you know, he said you probably threw her shit out when she asked for her stuff back. Then you come up to the party and you put all her shit on blast when she had in her purse. So you been coming for her. So honestly, she should punch you in the face. But anyway, after that, Mona goes to talk to Hazel E and Young Bird. Of course, they recap how, you know, Young Bird basically played the fuck out of Hazel E. And this is the fuck shit that I don't get. Young Bird. He treated her like shit, and he did apologize. He was like, you know, I felt like we were friends that, you know, basically got drunk, and we was high, we just did what we did. I didn't think it was nothing serious. And he apologized because, you know, for her, basically for making her believe it was something more because he just really thought that they was just friends that was just fucking from time to time. And Hazel is like, you couldn't have possibly thought that because, you know, basically I held you down. You know, I was basically only fucking you and I constantly was asking you, what are we doing? But anyway, niggas gonna be niggas. So he like, but I had already told you, you know what it was. Anyway, then we talk about Hazel Lee and how... You know, she lost so many friendships through the show. And, of course, she had to point out, no, them bitches were never my friends. And I have to agree with her, especially with Masika. Masika was the main one to talk about, leave young bird alone. He not for you. And then you go right back and fuck him. And regardless of their situation, where they were in a relationship or not, you knew they were fucking on a regular basis. And friends don't do that to friends. And I know you were friends with Young Bird first. And you were just formulating a friendship with Hazel. But because you are trying to have a friendship with her. And you've been friends with him. That should have really made you neutral. You, sh- you don't go around fucking a nigga that she just got done fucking. That just makes you look like a hoe. Like for real. And then... Um, you know, she talks about her and Tierra, and basically she said they didn't fall out about Young Bird. It was just a whole combination of things. But anyway, however, whatever, it's just real stupid because in the end, you know, Masika and Hazel end up arguing about Young Bird again. Talk, you know, Hazel talks about how Young Bird got a fun size dick, and Mona was like, well, if you had a fun size dick, you know, why did you keep coming back? And she was like, because it was fun size. Just because it's small, I mean, you can't have fun. So I'm like, whatever. Anyway, so after that, we move on to Nikki and Masika. Now, Nikki and Masika are talking about their, you know, relationship with Molly Ma. And, you know, Nikki now kind of changed her story. At first, she was like, dang, she talking about how he liked to pull hair. She must have fucked him because that's one of his bedroom tricks. Now, she changed up like, well, I really don't know for sure if they fucked because he's talking about all the other bitches he done fucked. And why would he tell me about her? Because if he would have told me about her, you know, what's the difference? She's just another random bitch. Now, what kills me about their altercation is that Nikki Mama, whoever she is, I don't know what her name is. I'm just going to call her Elvira. I don't know. She looked like a van- an old-ass vampire. I don't know. But anyway, she keep going in. And like she did with the whole Molly Mob situation. She not really let Nikki, you know, handle her business. She all in Masika's face. Talking about, you want to be her. You want to be us. And... Masika is giving me life because she like, I'm trying to respect my elders. Sit down, Granny. You know, sit down, Nana. You know, and she's like, I think everybody wants to see Nana truck. Like, she was just making all sorts of jokes, and I was here for it. And 
I don't know. It's the end of the show. I think uh, Nikki Mama get up and Masika get up and they bought the they bought the fight or whatever. I don't know. Like I said, it was a whole bunch of fuck shit on this episode. So bear with me if I could if I left something out. If I left something out, just put it in the comments because it was basically a whole bunch of screaming matches and people about to fight but Mona Scott ain't letting these niggas fight she like y'all sit y'all asses down I ain't going through that shit no more so basically that's what it was anyway if I forgot some, like I said leave it down in the comments till next time y'all peace and love